With us now are Daryl Cronk, president of the Wells Fargo Investment Institute. Sherry Paul is managing director of UBS Global Wealth Management, and it's good to have you guys both here. Daryl, are you surprised the markets aren't uh, doing worse in response to what looks like kind of a mess right now on Capitol Hill as regards the COVID bill? <laughs> Yeah, what's the old Washington adage, Kelly, about, you know, when you reach a policy cliff, uh, Washington builds more land, right? So that's probably <laughs> what they're going to do this afternoon and into the weekend is likely get uh, a few more days by themselves, either through a short-term uh, uh, funding gap bill or um, maybe they just shut the government down for a few days over the weekend and they, they get this thing done on Monday. But either way, what is going to happen, we think, in the next week is a $900 billion plus stimulus package of which most of the components are already laid out and agreed upon. And then the $1.4 billion omnibus government spending package, which will keep the government funded and open through October 1st of 2021. Yeah. And so Sherry, in other words, this is just a little bit of, of a punt, kind of kick the can down down the road into yeah. a couple of hours or a couple of days from now. Um, I, I wonder, is it a bigger cliff potentially once Tesla goes into the S&P? And just because the shares are up 60 percent over the past month on this inclusion, um, if it's a buy the rumor, sell the fact event on Monday, it, it will be a headwind for the for the whole market. Well, I think that we've got a lot going on, right? We've got some kicking and screaming here as we kind of end the year. Um, uh, and I think it's important from, from a political standpoint, I think it's important that we just quickly go back and understand that, that, the, that the human recovery has lagged the market recovery. And uh, reconciling that, I think, also involves looking at, well, how did we get leg one of the recovery? And that was clearly through what was essentially bridge financing between the Fed and Congress, fiscal stimulus, money in the pocket of people to bridge their spending, that high unemployment number, businesses shutting down, and the Federal Reserve innovating through this pandemic in really impressive ways, including the PPE and providing uh, the liquidity and stability to the system. As we move forward, the next leg of this market uh, going higher will hinge on human recovery, which means vaccine distribution, um, and we have a timeline now for that. And so essentially this next round of stimulus is a second bridge financing to get us to that end point. We are in a temporary state within right. the pandemic. Um, it's been brutal. It's been painful for people. It is a temporary state. We want to help investors now look beyond to where we sit today, the sausage making in D.C., yeah. uh, to the second half of next year and start to tilt their portfolios towards the human recovery, which puts you in cyclical small caps um, and even to some degree preparing, uh, you know, dare I say, for, you know, longer term potential inflation down the road. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.